In this video, we are going to solve one more problem based on the binomial distribution. We have taken one different problem here. Here they are talking about the machines and producing things and all industrial things. Okay, so for this type of question, this is very important that this is a case in which we are considering P and Q differently. P is taken as what probability that a component is defective and Q is taken as the component is not defective or we can call it as what satisfactory okay so p we are taking it as defective okay there we used to do the positive thing we used to take the positive thing as p here we are taking negative thing defective thing as p that is the different case uh, there is a difference between those cases and this one okay those events and this one so let us try to analyze this problem so they have said here a machine is producing a large number of bolts automatically bolts they are producing okay in a box of these bolts 95 percentage are within the allowable tolerance values with respect to the diameter the remainder being outside of the diameter tolerance values the seven bolts seven bolts are drawn at random seven bolts this is important number seven bolts are drawn at random from the box determine the probabilities that we'll see the probabilities we'll see afterwards so basically totally we are having seven bolts we are taking not take uh, totally we are taking seven bolts outside so that means randomly we are taking so we have to consider p q and uh, n values what will be n value it will be seven we are taking considering what the sample number that means sample we are taking out randomly we are drawing uh, we are taking out the bolts from the box that will be 7 what about p and q here as i said before p will be the defective one the negative one they have said in the question it is not necessary that they will directly tell defective satisfactory and all okay you have to understand the question and try to analyze that which one is defective and which one is not defective okay so here let us go through once again the statement here. The box of these bolts, 95% are within allowable tolerance values with respect to the diameter. Okay, this is a positive thing, right? The remainder being, remainder means what? 95% is gone. Remainder means what? Remaining 5%. 95% I can write it as 0 0.95. And remainder is 5%. Which I can write it as 0 0.05. Okay, the remainder being outside of the diameter tolerance value. Okay, the screw will be having, bolt will be having the diameter, right? They are talking about that. Outside the diameter value means what? That is not satisfactory for them. That means that is defective one. That is defective one. Outside. This is important. Okay, outside of the diameter tolerance values that is will be defective one so p will be what it will be the probability that a bolt is outside of allowable tolerance values correct that means it, it is considered as the defective one so that value will be equal to what five percent remainder being right five percent five percent means 0 0.05 i can consider and what about q q will be 95 percent not defective that means it is inside the within the allowable tolerance value not defective not defective means it will be 95 percent that i can write it as 0 0.95 when i add both it should be equal to one it is equal to one unity correct so i got p q and n let us now write the expansion of this q plus n whole power 7 so we'll expand this one so that will be q power 7 plus 7 q power 6 p power 1 plus 21 q power 5 p power 2 plus so on okay so here you can see if i see the first term so you need to understand each and every term of the expansion okay then only you'll understand what is the problem so here they have asked to determine the probabilities of two 
more than two of the seven bolts are outside of the this thing outside of the this thing means we are they're asking with respect to p right outside of diameter tolerance p we have taken defective outside of diameter tolerance is defective so two that means the defective should be two that means we have to consider right p power two you have to consider p power two means what q power will be how much five that means this term this term right p power two term q power will be five because the total uh, value should be equal to what seven volts right the total power will be addition of powers will be seven always each and every term okay so p2 p power two this term i have to get so the first answer will be for two two defective volts okay two defective volts probability will be equal to 21 q power 5 p power 2 because p we have considered it as defective yeah that's why we are seeing that term only that is equal to 21 what is q value q value is equal to what let me just write it over here q value and p value p value is nothing but equal to 0 0.05 q value is 0 0.95 0 0.95 whole power 5 into 0 0.05 power 2 Put it in the calculator, you will get 0 0.0406. Next, next they have asked more than two of the seven bolts. More than two. so I should not consider two. It should be more than two. So out of seven bolts, so how many will be there? One zero zero defective. One two three four five six and seven. Totally seven bolts. So here zero more than two means zero is eliminated one is eliminated two is also eliminated so rest all terms three four five six seven right so he, here you have two methods either you can just you you got to know that more than two means you have to consider three four five six seven that means p power three p power four p power five p power six and p power 7 terms you have to consider that all terms you have to just add it up this is the one method of doing otherwise you can just subtract 1 1 minus because total the probability should be equal to 1 to so 1 minus the probability of not getting more than 2 So that this is what we are doing so one method is that we have to just consider the probability of getting more than two defective bolts by just adding up all the this thing these terms totally five terms are just added up okay the second method is that you can just subtract from one minus probability of not getting more than two not getting more than two means it will be zero one two right zero one two you have to consider that means P power 0 you have to consider, P power 1, P power 2 terms you have to consider. So here in the expansion you can see P power 0 term is nothing but Q power 7 because here you can write it as P power 0 also. Same thing. Addition of power should be equal to 7. So this term I have to add P power 0, Q power 7 plus. Second term 7, Q power 6, P power 1. Third term 21. Q power 5 q power sorry, p power p square all these terms i have to add it up so 1 minus p power 0 q power 7 just uh, put the values of p and q you will get 0 0.0 0 0.6983 plus 0 0.2573 plus 0 0.0406 one minus that value will be equal to i can write it like the value 0 0.0038 okay so you have got two methods okay by using two methods you can that directly find out